Hello there everyone, welcome back to the Great War Redux mod. I'm your host, yeah, Mocha Love, and right now we're playing as the Third Rome, but it's now March 10th, 1915, and this is now how we left the world, especially as you see, there's a lot of nations here now. So, let's catch you up to speed. So, I've been doing a lot of this off-screen as you can tell. Um, unfortunately, I thought they would win, but the, the, the Russian Revolution lost. Go figure. Um, so we're still fighting the Russians, and then all of a sudden Germany declared war on us. So we're fighting the Germans, which is why we're fighting German Persia down here, and we lost a little bit of Iraq. It is what it is. Um, Austria-Hungary, I think, declared war on Serbia. Actually, um, let's see. Sorry. Uh, Franz Ferdinand survived his uh, potential loss of life attempt. So he actually survived. But they still went to war with someone down here, I forget. Maybe it was Romania or something like that. The Hungarians did spawn out, and uh, obviously, as you can tell, Germany went to war with them. Which is quite unfortunate. Uh, oh well, it is what it is. Of course, they have the Orthodox Gang here, Orthodox League, and the Greeks are part of that. But Greater ha Bulgaria created Greater Bulgaria, and actually, I guess they took out Serbia, which is... Oh, well, they didn't take out Serbia yet, but they, they've done a really good job against Serbia. Uh, Romania is in the German faction of the Central Powers, as well as Italy, so Austria-Hungary got double-teamed. For some reason, they popped out Czech the Czech Republic, but they're not in a the faction. Um, they have the Polish Socialist Republic, even though they're in the Central Powers. And we also have West Ukrainian People's Republic. Independent still. I don't understand that. Um, so basically, yeah. This is not really good, and that's why I figured, you know what, let's go ahead and stay here and start re-recording. So, I've done a lot of focuses off-screen, and I want to get through all of them with you uh, in order the way I did them. So, uh, let's see. Investing in entrepreneurship. In the current economic situation, the best solution would be to provide foreign banking or foreign and domestic entrepreneurs with convenient conditions for building a business. Yes, it's liberal, but we need to get rid of debt. And then I went with Embrace Mobile Warfare, which was over here. This new mobile warfare thing will help us encircle our enemies with speedy tactics. And then Turkish Armor Project, our army fell behind our neighbors due to the technological improvements over time. But now we actually have a chance to catch up. We must start our armor project to pierce our enemies and then expand military academy. We have expanded our military industry and army from all sides. We must expand our academical academical entities or academic entities as it's proven as a fact that technology is needed in this new world education is our hot followed up with that one we did development or develop arabian lands which was not over here was it i think it was over here develop arabian lands we should not forget to invest in our arabian arabic subjects and then we did uh, Mama El Turchi, which, as you can see, there's nothing really there. We did Mount Nostrum next, in which the Mediterranean is a Roman lake. That means it's ours. So, cool. And then I did ooh, this one, Cassiar of All Romans. After the conquest of Constantinople in uh, 1453, Mehmed II claimed the title of Kaiseri of Rome, Cassiar of Romans. And the title even came to this day by Osman IV. We are the true successor of the Roman Empire. We are the Kaiser, we are the Caesar. Which is weird that it has a lower KC, but whatever. Undoubtedly, we will reclaim the glory. It's cool. And we got more, more attack and defense, which has been really beneficial for us. Return to Greece as well. Another center of Rome was Greece. So, we have to go back there. And then, Legacy of the Sultan of Rome, which we're doing right now. Our ancestors of this land, Anadolu uh, Salsuklu Hukumeti, or Sultanate of Rome's legacy is upon us. Especially as we claim the title of Kaiseri, Kaiseri Rome. We must honor them. We get more, more attack. Which is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Those are the focuses I've done. This world is very world weird, and the Entente has, still is not in war. I don't understand it. I really don't. Um, up next, Constantia Agreements. I'm not sure. Separatist sentiments and minority issues. We have this one, which would be good to get rid of, which would definitely help us out. But minority issues? We don't have any minority issues here, so we'll do this one anyways. Up next, as you can see, we're doing quite well. But yeah, at this point, I, I started attacking Greece. And for some reason, we're actually winning here. It doesn't look like we should, so, but... I mean... Oh, well, okay, the, now the polls have come in. And right now, since the, the Bulgarians have done really well, and I'm, I'm honestly expecting the Bulgarians to die, we've got to push in fast. I want to take out all of Greece as much as fast as possible, uh, just so that this way we can have another defensive line, because Bulgaria's not going to hold. I'm going to be realistic here. Bulgaria will not be able to hold the line, probably. Which is not their fault. I mean, it, it, this is not easy. And you are also here doing too, this stuff too, which is good, good, good. Go in, go in, go in if you can. Kill, seriously, just kill them all off, please. For the love of God, kill them off. Also, we, we can upgrade our guns, we can upgrade our artillery, but we, we need more, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, our Navy's doing really great, though. We've done, I'm actually really impressed with the Navy so far. Then again, I might just have lied there. Oh boy, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. 
We still have a heavy cruiser, which is nice. But if that's the case, combine one fleet. Because if you death stack, you're probably going to win. Also, here with the Kalashi is super far, get too far. We've not lost really that much. We've lost 123,000. 24,000. Haven't called in our puppets. We've killed off 21,500 Germans. 137,000 Italians, probably just due to convoys. A few R Romanians. A quarter million Serbs have died between us and Bulgaria, which is nuts to think about. We've one-to-one -one ratio against those guys. Um, Greece has lost 400,000 to us, and the Russians have lost 800,000. Absolutely insane. I couldn't break these lines too, by the way, so... Which really, really sucked. Really, really sucked. But let's do the agreements. Why not? Also, we have some other divisions here just in case that people might want to, you know, invade us, nearly invade us. If we lose North Africa at this point, I'm not worried about it. North Africa is North Africa. You know, whatever. We're doing the best we can. At least w w this campaign could end extremely quickly if we don't guard our capital. So, yeah, we should probably do that. And we do some other comments to go through as well. Especially about pronunciation stuff. So, um, do that too. I don't want to get, you know, hit in the rear. Getting hit in the rear is not a lot of fun, and as you can see, this line is pretty much stagnant, so, you know what, we're going to call on our allies now. Because I, we got to move through here. You should, oh, hello. That's a lot better than it was off screen, holy crap. Oh, our puppet, yes. We'll gladly accept and stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Go in here too, boys. We got guys coming in. This is a, why is this so much better than when I was doing it off, off screen? I don't understand. I mean, it does help that we do have actually relatively stronger divisions, I guess, that uh, aren't hurting super badly for supplies, I suppose I could say, but... Okay, the German never puts pressure on Switzerland. Are we... Ah. Oh, really? All right. All right. And I'll get to the comments very soon. Why are we over here? Get out of there, guys. Don't even think about going up here. You're insane. Insane, my friend. Ah, the Germans are here. I see. Ooh, are we... Immediately start losing, maybe? Maybe not? Yeah, I don't understand. German Persia. Now, this is definitely turning into a struggle fest up here. Bulgaria, I'd love to, but I don't think it'd be really worth it for us right now. Man, fighting through it really sucks. Are we, we're losing that battle over here, too, so. You know what? Stop attacking for now. Reorganize yourselves. I want them to attack us. So, remove the, these guys. I wish we could naval invade, but we just don't have the strength for it right now. I'd love to go straight to Athens. Only two divisions can alien bay, which sucks. Sucks, 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 sucks. Uh, Ship-wise, we're still trying to repair so much. Just trying to repair so much. Oh, crap. Never mind. You guys, come over here. See, this is what I was worried about. I knew they'd do something like this. Immediately kill them off. Kill them off. Kill them off. Kill them off. Do not let them survive. Do not let them survive. Force the attack. I, I literally will not let you do that. Uh, it is... Oh, no, no. 1915, so... I'll uh, get some of that stuff, which is going along very nicely. We got a lot of this, this stuff done. Uh, the biggest problem with me in this mod, just like, and it's not supposed to mirror World War One and stuff, but like, uh, the front lines. I know they're not supposed to move too much, but there's really not much we can do about it. Too much. I mean, don't get me wrong; it helps us out on defense and such, but still, I'm surprised we're not attacking us anymore. Please, Serbia, just keep going on. Okay, so you guys actually do that fine. Okay, like, that's why I put these guys over there too. Oh yes, let them. Hmm, not bad. I'd love to attack here, but I kind of doubt we could win. Can you guys actually win there? I'd love it if they could, but I kind of doubt they would be able to. If it goes down by a little bit, we're going to stop the attack. I'm just so costly, especially in the mountains. Yeah, you know what? We're going to wait. And they're going to attack us again? That's fine. Oh, it's a charging upgrade. That's fine. That's a little bit ahead of time, but we're going to grab some of that too. Yeah. Do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm, though. Oh, anything else? I'm still not surrendering them. No. Oh, I'd love to declare Jihad, but we can't quite do that yet. Ooh, we can get some more Chromium, but Chromium is probably the best thing we got, so I'd love to, but not right now. No, we don't need that one either. Improved working conditions could be actually pretty good to do as well, but we need as much output right now as possible, so. The only thing we get we're positive on are trucks, which sucks. So that's pretty much what I've been doing off screen the entire time. Oh my goodness, please, 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 Bulgaria. I know you can't really hold that well, but Jesus Christ, please don't lose there. Yeah, well, at least... I think for this campaign, the, my... Hallelujah, they went to war. Thank God. I was hoping that, you know, we get through as many things as possible. At least get through all focuses. If we can't actually make a real third Rome, so be it. But I want to get through as many focuses as possible. And we can't go to the right side of the tree anymore because... Decisions we've made before. You know, the Balkans... Let's do this one, because this is really good. Preparation for the greatest siege. We get better consumer goods, more war support, more construction speed, more factory output, more dock output. Yes, please, the Constantia Agreement. To do. Okay, then. Make them feel free. 
uh, or give token concessions. I mean, make them feel free. Local Violets. Um, now, I remember I played Kaiser Reich, and they had little things here, little modifiers you could throw on. Um, I have it down here. Do they have it down here, too? No. Make them feel free. More resistance. What is it currently right now? It's a little high, but that's that's let's be normal. That's pretty high over here as well. Yemen's okay. <sighs> I don't mind more compliance. You know, let's try this one. Oh, make it more difficult on ourselves. Oh, what is association? Ah, the Great War finally started in 1950, my friends. May have God have mercy on us. Um. Oh God. All right. So, my apologies about that. Um, every time there's a super event, like at least in the first video, there's at least one copyright claim, and I'm sorry, I have to trim it out, or like, I don't get anything from it. So, like, I apologize for that. I love super events. They're some of my favorite things in any mod, but. Oh boy, look at that. That is not good. But uh, yeah, like, I apologize if, if there's like uncertain jump cuts because YouTube literally just cuts it out. Like, I tell YouTube, just it just cuts it out. But Hungarian People's Republic joined the Central Powers, which I thought they already did. Serbia joined the Russian Empire, which. Wait. You peaced out. Wait. But you still have Bulgaria. Hmm. Well then. Well then. Thanks for our land back, you pieces of garbage. You're going to get hit so hard. Man, those guys look so bad right now. This is not going to be good, my friends. This is not going to be very good. The Treaty of Bucharest. Peace at last. Okay, end of the First Balkan War. The Bulgarians signed a separate border treaty with the Ottomans who had gained some territory west of the Enos Media line during the Second War. Bulgaria has been humiliated and its position in the Balkan Peninsula, Prussia, with the bastion of the Balkans, is now starting to come into question. Peace at last. Well, peace for now. Not really, though. Let's be realistic. Uh, oh, God! What the heck? Germany! What? We have to fight Russia, the German Empire, and Great Britain. Oh, my goodness. Seriously, bruh? Bruh. Uh, uh, can we come in? Just... D bro. Bro. Please. Alright, don't worry about moving. Like there. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Oh, God. Oh, no, that's a completely unfair. They go to war with us. That's completely unfair. I mean, we could still probably do okay against them, but what the heck. If Russia and Germany do not kill each other off, that's incredibly unfair, man. Incredibly unfair. But again, again, it is ahistorical. What do you expect? But still. But still. If you need to retreat, that's fine. Retreat further into the mountains. Because that's only hills. So infantry equipment 2 is nice. Um, let's see. I might have to do some Tom foolery in the background here to make sure that things go... At least okay-ish. So, yeah, seriously, if you're not going to go to war with us, kill us off or just leave us alone. That's my only command. That's fine if you lose Pristina, because we're fighting in the mountains now, and that's totally fine with us. They will die in the mountains. Oh, we can declare jihad now. Okay, cool. Our leader is Sultan and Caliph, the proxy for Allah's apostle. By declaring jihad, we may gain support from Islamic countries. We could do that. I want to wait and see if that might actually hurt us with anything else. But so let's wait for that one. Um, yeah, not too much else here. Yeah, guys, please don't, please don't attack, please. You guys are fine to attack. That's fine with us. Yes, Belgium. Yes. Seriously, Germany needs to go to war with Russia. They really need to go to war with them. Because I don't think France is going to be able to hold. It. Oh, they might be able to hold. It. No, maybe not. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Uh oh. Oh boy. Hey, hey, nice. Oh, God, we defend the British fleet, too. God dang it. I forgot about that. Uh, does anyone else have upgrades? No, yes, maybe so. Uh, let's go with recovery rate. Let's recover faster. That'd be good. You all, anything here? Probing attacks. Adaptable is really good. Improvisation experts. It's fine, I guess, as well. Oh, my God. Yeah, I think we're done here. This is stupid. I don't understand why we have to fight all these different nations. I forgot about that. Oh, they're taking... I mean, that's completely unfair. Russia, Germany, Persia, UK, all attacking us, and Greece. 
But we get literally no allies, so... Unfortunately, this is going to be the, uh... Probably the only second episode of this campaign, because we can't hold. I mean, we've literally been backstabbed. These guys should never be able to ally with each other, which, you know, it's kind of my fault for setting us up like this, but still. And there's no way we can actually do anything. And America, like, fell apart, and the Confederates are, are dying. With literally the second or third edition of the Confederate flag, literally dying to Mexico, like... Bruh. So no jihad this time. Get out. That's totally unfair, man. I think next time I do this, I'm going to make sure I set it up so that, uh... I just, just, we can die in the water. Goodbye. I, I've got to set it up to the point where... Uh, I make sure we have allies. Because <laughs> this is stupid. The Brits should not be on the same team, basically, as Germany. And they're not, but basically they are. Ridiculous. Look at that. Yeah, I think we're pretty much done here. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize. I'm going to get some comments such as... Uh, the S with a little symbol under it is Tesh, uh, as S H sound, so shh. Uh, I do have a bad pronunciation of words. People want me to do commie, Germany in this mod, as well as do Confederacy, which I hope to do sometime. I'm not sure when, but sometime, but I I've held out so hard. I've done, we've done so well to get screwed over by all the Europeans. Like, no wonder the Turks don't like Europeans that much. <sighs> That's so stupid. This is incredibly stupid. We have zero allies. Literally nobody. And all we had was Bulgaria, who wanted us to join their faction, and they even dismantled it. That's so stupid, but, mm, yeah, this, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry about this. So, I think we're going to end this here. Well, let's, I want to get to this focus first. And then, uh, then we'll just do, like, focus autocomplete. Because this is just, it screwed us. Like, that's, that's, that's a historical. I'm not playing this on a historical again, I'll be honest. If I'm going to do a historical things, I'm still going to keep it on, on historical. So, my apologies, guys, my apologies. But I do allow them to try this more. I mean, look at this. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Yep, it's got to go historical the entire time. So, kill the sick man. <sighs> I mean, that's so stupid. Army epidemic. Trench fever hits the army. On sanitary conditions, rats and decaying corpses have created a large scale epidemic that is damaging our army. Our opponents will take us into this account in order to strike at us. Disastrous. Oh, Jesus Christ, that sucks. Just a few more days, because we, we can't deal with one, two, three, four different flipping fronts at the same time. Really, technically, five. That's that, that's that's ridiculous. So I, I I'm so, I'm calling it here, guys. I'm sorry. I really am. But we can use console commands. Uh, the Tishkalat brigades, infiltration commandos. They'll help us a lot in the war. Operational uh, operation artillery. We need to study artillery to overcome superior foe of our enemies. Jewish money for debts. Jews from empire offer a hot money to pay back our debts. We should accept their generous offer and pay back our growing debts to save the empire. And, uh, while Kuwait, Qatar, and Bahrain are normally under Ottoman suzerainty, we have little to no actual authority in these territories. We should negotiate with the UK to properly define the boundaries of our jurisdiction of the Persian Gulf and build the Berlin-Baghdad Railway. Started in 1903 with German investment, Berlin-Baghdad Railway is a vital economic and strategic project for our country. In addition to economic opportunities it will provide, completion of this railway project will strengthen our authority in the Middle Eastern provinces and ease execution of our mobilization plans in case of a possible war, default on debt. Debts are becoming more and more problem by day by day. We already have solved problems, or some of our economic issues, we must default on our debt. Okay. Uh, kill the sick man. We are restoring the reputation of a strong state. Uh, unite the Balkans. Nothing there. Uh, Goben and Breslau. Germany's at war with Britain right now, which is a lie. And we can see two of their warships fleeing our way in the Mediterranean. If we do well, we might be able to get them. Invite French companies. French need to invest more in our country, so we can do something for them, right? Foreign researchers. As our alliance with the Entente and Central Power grows, we too have to take benefit of the researchers alone. Two. Join the Entente. They all reject me. Follow the dreams of the great Mehmed. And then orders for Egypt. Nothing there. War with the Saudis. Saudis and their tiny state against us doesn't possess uh, uh, poses to us a great threat. But it's still a good choice to clear them up and align the Habashita, Habashistan. Ethiopia, Abyssinia, Habashistan is one of the last remaining free African nations. After all, why not befriend them? Yeah, I mean it, it's pretty much over for us. I apologize, guys. I really do. Um, oh, wait, I forgot to do some of these up here, too, so. Uh, Navy reorganization. Once great Ottoman Navy now trembles due to technological advancements, we fell behind our rivals and even our neighbors. We have to reorganize our Navy, build up a new one that will bring back our old glory. Uh, Baria Nezaretti. In 1867, the Council of Ministers carried out a number of reforms, including in the environment of the naval forces. It was decided to establish the Ministry of the Navy, Baria Nezaretti. A French-Turkish naval cooperation. France already devoted, developed herself in Navy a lot. A cooperation benefits fit us a lot, too. 
versus battleships. On the 19th of July, 1909, a tradesman by the name of Yajiskadi Sefik Bey founded the Navy Association to strengthen the Ottoman Navy. Donations are pouring from our patriotic citizens across the empire. We should support this association and purchase new ships for our Navy with their funds. Um, naval maneuvers. We must maneuver our Navy into different positions, basically give them a training and study the effects of it. Revive the great Ottoman Navy. Ottoman Navy was once a Navy that the world feared. Where did we go wrong? What did we do wrong? Nothing. We just let our enemies overcome us with their expansions. We must revive the greatness of this Navy. Uh, Mavi Vatan. Mavi Vatan doctrine is just one of the steps in reviving this great Navy. We must reclaim our main Navy's powerhouse in, Aegean, in the Aegean, and obviously benefit this, and benefit from this great doctrine's fruits. Uh, dreadnought designs. We must expand dreadnought designs so we may come up with our own, expand our knowledge in it, and most importantly, rule the waves with huge battleships. Wolves of the Sea, which is nice, we're going to do that, please read it. I prefer invoke the methods of Mehmed II. Mehmed II shows us a huge fact that as you put enough gunpowder and artillery in it, you crush every single one of your enemies. How right it is, W, what a great method it is, in the defense of Mamara. We must build uh, our defenses in the coast of Mamara as it's a very vulnerable position for enemies. A enemies can go just right into our sacred capital. The question is, how much of a fight will there be and blood will be shed? Oh my goodness. Yashilkoi Airbase? Last year we planned to build the country's first airfield near Constantinople. From that moment on, we can assume that we formed our aviation. Ta Tayar Commission. If we want to expand our aircraft industry, this is the way. We must build up new factories that will make us rule the skies. Import aircrafts. Our aircraft sector is close to nothing. We must import foreign designs and aircrafts first to come up with our own. Or to stick to them too. And Tayar Mektebi. Uh, that was the aircraft school which is needed to study your pilots. Or make trainer pilots. As we can't fly planes without a pilot. Usually. Import, study, import stuff. You about that. Please go ahead. We'll build our own air industry. Our nation and people deserve to have their own designs. Rather than importing all this stuff from outside, we must come up with our own. It'll be cheaper and it'll be 100% Yeri and Mili. A Constantia Cairo expedition. We must send several expeditions to Cairo because why wouldn't we? <laughs> Experience of the Mediterranean conflict. Conflicts in the Mediterranean Sea lets us get informed about our enemy's technology. And more information means more improvement. More improvement means is equal to a higher chance of victory. Naval Aviation. Naval Aviation is just one of the new improvements in this area. Why not benefit it? Who can tell it will and won't lead us to victory? Experience of the European conflict. Conflict in Europe get, let, letting us to get more and more infor, informed towards this, this new aircraft. This is a luck, a chance, and we can't let it escape. <laughs> I understand uh, whoever uh, you know wrote these books is not a native English speaker. Totally fine. Could you a little bit more um, rework with the language, but honestly, I, I think I set myself up for failure here a little bit too much with this campaign. I should, like I said before, I'm going to leave it on historical. I'll leave it on a historical if it's a major nation like Germany or Russia or France, in which I know we can do well. But with this one, we're attacked on so many different sides. We don't have any equipment. We have no allies. And the UK, I mean, because we have so many different fronts, we can literally just not do anything about it, which sucks. So, hey, I apologize about this. It's just the way this mod works sometimes. But... I'd like to check out this mod a little bit more in the future. But if you enjoyed the shorter video, please look at look at all the people we're fighting here. Look at all that's ridiculous, ridiculous. But if you enjoyed the video, regardless, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.